Okay, let's go. Happy Tuesday. I have an amazing set for you today. And if you are a subscriber, go ahead and comment below because this set, the Zempire to a ZE51B, is going to go to somebody that is following and supporting my channel. I appreciate the engagement and the support. All the people that have been winners already and haven't received, send that mail again to the email that I gave you and it will be out by Saturday. Everything will be all caught up. Thank you for your patience. Life is finally lined up. And... Uh, this set is going to go out to somebody, not that quickly, because I want to give people the time to catch this video and get a chance to get this. I want to give it away because this was sent to me for free, and I want to buy one. I want to support this guy because he did something that nobody in this hobby's done, and it's mind-blowing. I can actually show this to you. This is a K&N30 LEAP DAP, and it's connected out of the 4.4. And this is a track called You've Been Played. That's the drops. I'm sorry. That's a little bit. That's not the volume I listen at. That is. And it still does it. Though much less. Trust me, you would prefer this for long listening. Well, that's what it is at my listening, and that's what it is turned up. At 82 out of 100, I didn't even really crank it. This is the first set. I don't know if you can see the quality. You see the bone conductor driver right in there? The show quality is on par with Unique Melody and Empire Ears, which is to say it's what you expect when you pay a lot of money. This is a $700 set. It's got the bone conduction driver, obviously. It's called the ZE51B. Um, which is kind of a camper naming system which allows you to see the count of the drivers and maybe what is what they're highlighting. Um, and this would be five BAs and one bone conduction driver as the title and the name would indicate. And this is the frequency response graph, $700. Um, Sonians and Knowles plus the Huayun Zin, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, H011 uh, bone conduction driver that's doing that work and it's got an impedance of four ohms plus or minus one and uh, sensitivity of 107 to 110 plus or minus three as i just demonstrated to you what it does in bass um talking about bass the low frequency drops big boy kill jill 808 rolling type stuff obviously i just showed one of those examples to you this is the first set i've ever had where i could show you instead of just tell you let's keep that in mind that's why i'm kind of excited by this that that really nice case right there that's what it comes in if you buy this again 700 dollars I'm going to start to shamelessly hype this, so I'm giving away what my ranking is. Um, I've been listening to this all the time since I got it. The drops are automatic. The bass guitar, the pulls and the snaps on the bass guitar, it's very subtle, like you just saw the demonstration. In that area, you can get back the energy. Hearing a bass line and also subtly feeling it is such an amazing experience. He sent me a mail and said, listen to Sultans of Swing first. And I wouldn't. I usually don't indulge people, but that's literally one of the tracks that I listen to. And listening to that track, along with "Please Do Not Go" and others, I I was t completely blown away. The the low frequency drops is what I thought this was going to be like. Wow! And the actual wow is in the bass guitar and in vocals, in vocals. So let's let's continue with the low frequency. So bass guitar is amazing. The Bonham kick drum, boom, 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 boom. It's as you would expect. It's forceful and you can feel it in your ear. As we get into vocals, Lane Staley, Chris Cornell, Nina doing the cover of Blondie, Heart of Glass, there is a kind of reverb effect of vocals because there's a very, very subtle vibe going on in the low, low fundamentals, which is where this is doing its action. And it's very, very engaging. The Chain by Stevie Nicks with that bass sound that comes in, also just a, that's an amazing sonic experience totally blew me away. I've been listening to this for so long, periods of time when I listened to it, that I've been killing the KNN30, and I thought, man, this has got a much less battery life than I thought it had, but it that's I've just been listening to it so much I keep killing the battery on it. Repeatedly. This is my most listened to set since I've gotten it. Um, not because I'm trying to do a review for it, but because I can't take it out of my ears. It's, it's very, very um, amazing. So the vocals are very engaging because it's kind of an immersive, unique 
to the ho hobby experience. Though the Camper CP622B does some stuff like that with some vocal parts. Um, so it's it, it's similar in a way in vocals to that. Um, but this kind of takes it to another level. The the upper harmonics, the treble, which is you know guitar, acoustic and electric, distortion pedals with or without keyboards or pianos. I'm thinking about ELO, Mr. Blue Sky, or that whole the best of album where there's just a lot of intensity. Cymbals, rides, or crashes. Um, the of the three portions, which is the low frequency, the vocals, which is mids for me, because the bookends, the mid bass, it could be brittle or it could be blown out over the vocals or the amplitude and the abruptness of the ear gain can make something sound way forward and too loud or boxy because it's not really there. Um, so th the vocals are just a huge key indicator of the quality of the mids for this reviewer. The harmonics wasn't something I really thought about until I sat down today, which is a good thing because that means that that's why I listen for long periods of time because it, it wasn't getting on me and I wasn't feeling like I was missing something. If this was a dark set, I wouldn't be into it. Um, it's a sofa set. It's doing, it's kind of like, in a sense, it's like the APXSE and the fact that I can listen for long periods of time, get all of the details, but I never feel like I need to pull this out of my ear. Neither of these two sets exhibit that kind of thing, though the SE graph would indicate that, not in the replay at all. Um, and this set is, is like that. I, I'm very sensitive to cymbals and other instruments being overly emphasized, where I can see that people might say, wow, every detail, like boosted late treble and all, all of that and getting back everything. The blessing and the curse. It might sound awesome for 30 minutes, but that's it. You're going to start getting a ringing in your ear, or I do anyway, so I can't, that's not even a starter for me. I can't do that. Um, so most of the sets that I wreck don't exhibit that. So is it a dumpster fire? No. Um, hope it was free. For somebody to comment below this video, it will be. Coping is working. Not at any point. Competes with its peers. It doesn't have any peers. This set actually today doesn't have any peers. $700? Doing what it does with named, branded drivers? N nothing touches this. Um, I'd buy it. I'm, I'm literally going to. I'm going to give this to somebody and I'm going to buy a set. Like I did with the camper the first time. Um, actually, I sold the camera. This is going to be given away. I'm going to shamelessly hype it. Yes, as I indicated at the beginning of this video, nobody's done this. It's an amazing experience. It doesn't, it's not redundant to anything in my library and collection because I don't have anything in my collection that does this. Anatoly, bro, absolutely impressive. I'm so, I'm subtly confused that you are actually a company that's coming at me with this whole sad story. But I know that you're a real guy and I know that you're not in China and I, I know the reality. But the quality of the shells and what you did from yourself, it's, it's hard to believe. I believe it and I know it and everybody on Hi-Fi Guys knows this is true, but it, it's so impressive that it's hard to get my mind around. I don't know what to say. Um, comment below to go ahead and, and get this set. I, I'll be getting another one. And I'll prove it because I'll have a different cap with my logo. You got to put up with my logo um, because this is this was sent to me. He sent this to me at no charge, full disclosure. That happens a lot. And it doesn't mean anything as my rankings would indicate. And I sometimes don't even give videos and tell people it's not my thing. I think it'll do more damage. And maybe somebody who can more appreciate this will help you get on your way. But I, I can't do that. It happens all the time. You don't hear about it because that's... I just explain why. Because I keep quiet. I'm going to be get very loud about this set. Um, you guys have a good couple days. And don't forget to comment below. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to grab a chance. And if you're not into subscribing, that's cool too. Um, thank you for watching the video. And I'm Anatoly, bro. Wow. And I'm out.